So if somebody comes to the movement and... Comes to the movement, comes to the Pero Moshit and says, can you tell me something? Um, why should I come here? Um, um, are you doing some funny business? Or are you... If that come, the person comes to me, yeah. well, I will say, well, why do you come? You're bound. Yeah, because he wants to, to know something about spirituality. Well, then I would say, well, why do you think that we know any better than you? Or than anybody else? Or than any other organization? Okay. But that is not... Is that an answer to his question? Or her question? Well, if the, if the question is put in that way, yes. Okay, so how shall we put the question, then? Um, Can you tell something? Well, if a person you? comes just to know what... Um, can be found in Sufism. Okay. Um, I would say, well, you will find whatever you're looking for. Thank you. I'm waiting for your questions, Ulam. Okay, but I'm looking for enlightenment. Enlightenment will turn the light on. Okay, but that's not enough. The light is on. Um. And the sun is shining. Well, um, one of the very, uh, perhaps, special um, teachings in Sufism is that by the very fact that one is born, one has the light within. So, um, it doesn't really make sense to look for it because it is there. Uh, if one thinks that one will find it somewhere else, one will never find it. And that's the reason why most people who are discouraged in whatever <coughs> spiritual organization they are following, they are discouraged because they are looking for something that they have already. It's not a latter organization, it's in their own heart that that they are looking for. Is that enough? No, for that's that not enough. But it, it is an answer. But if one is not um, seeing that light, how does one come to see the light which is within? Um, the light is not like electric light, uh, that means a produced light, a created mm -hmm. light, the light is, our whole self is nothing else than the light itself. Yes. And we know that the eye cannot see itself, it sees everything else except itself, unless you look in the mirror. But the eye is the only thing that cannot see itself, can see everything else except, except itself. That's exactly the same thing. We, um, we cannot see the light in, 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 uh, within us because we are nothing else than that light itself. Covered over by the ego, by the dogmas, by the preconceived ideas, by all the theories that one learns and picks up and makes oneself from morning to night. Does that answer that question? So it is a question of taking away all the covers? That's exactly what it's all about, yes. How do you do that? Well, uh, I think that um, one of the very precious teachings of Hazrat Nath Khan on that subject is the book called The Art of Personality, uh, which uh, teaches uh, how to get rid of those covers which are made out of the ego. I am, I know better, I want, and um, uh, the, um, all the false um, identifications that one makes about one's own self, to oneself. And what is worse than even that is um, those false identifications which one tries to, um, but, uh, to impress others with, which in, in English is called uh, self-pretense. 
Do you mean by that that um, I jump now? But do you mean by it that uh, one should not say things which one did not experience or did not feel or doesn't know? Well, perhaps one of the, I would say, authenticities which are, which is um, looked for in the Sufi movement, I don't want to say it's found, but it's looked for, is exactly that. Um, uh, not to uh, not to ever say anything that wasn't done, well, that was not, that one doesn't believe in, or that one has not experienced oneself. Now, um, because as soon as you say something that you have not experienced or that you do not believe in or that somebody else has imposed upon you to believe, that is where you give birth to what is called preconceived ideas or uh, ego, um, dogmas. And actually it's parrot speech. It's what? Parrot speech. Babachai. Oh, parrot speech, yeah. How do you know the difference between people who really have experienced things and who are not fantasizing and people who just make up things? It looks very simple. If in the internet they offer you something for free, yeah. you know it's a bluff. And if they offer you for money, you know it's a bluff anyway. <laughs> because that money will just be a down payment, there will be more bills coming up afterwards. Uh, there um, is a, an organization, I don't know what it's called, which sometimes uh, gives a message through on the internet saying, for God's sake, stop all this research on the internet. It's all bluffers and gangsters and even dangerous, um, uh, dangerous uh, experiments. How many girls have been looking for a man and they ended by having lost their life because of it? Or their money? It, it's, it's really criminal. What goes on in the intercept is criminal. Okay, I understand what you're saying and I agree totally. But that How? is the same thing within all uh, uh, esoteric organizations. As soon as we say Sufis, oh, uh, you can, well, we shall offer you spiritual development and free, you don't have to pay anything, it's bluff. So what do we offer? Well, in the Sufi moon there's a membership which is about 60 guilders, uh, euros a year. That's for the upkeep of the movement, that's all. Yeah, but what do we offer? What do we offer? Yes. What we offer is uh, to help the member to discover that whatever you're looking for is already there so you don't have to look for it outside. And you don't even have to look for it in our movement. Look at it inside, inside in yourself. Happiness, for instance. You can run over the whole world and you'll never find happiness. Happiness is, one, is oneself. Happiness is, is a condition, is, is a state of mind. It's, it's, the, it's the, the harmonious condition of the heart. Nobody can make anybody happy, but we can make others happy. That's the whole point. That is what's so very special in the Sufi teachings. Um, the only way to make any progress on the spiritual path is to try whatever you say, whatever you do, whatever you think, for that to be an opportunity of offering a little bit of happiness to others. That's all. Nothing else. May I need? Life is happiness. Yeah. Spiritual, what is spirituality? Spirituality is only happiness, is all it is. It doesn't mean that you're any more or any higher than anybody else. It doesn't, matter that you're, it doesn't mean that you're nearer to God. But that's all, that's all kinder, kinder, kinder fairy tales. Can you tell something about the idea of spiritual liberty? Um, what Hazrat Khan meant by spiritual liberty was 
um, that anything that is really true should never be imposed upon anyone. Um, spiritual liberty doesn't mean that one is just free to do anything one, one wants. Spiritual means not to accept to be imposed by anyone to believe what they force you to believe. That's all it means. You believe what your heart is, 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 uh, is ready to accept. But um, any um, um, on the spiritual path, whatever it is, uh, when uh, uh, spiritual, uh, spiritual liberty means that the teacher should not impose anything on the pupil. And the pupil should not either expect or tempt the teacher to impose something on the path. But spiritual liberty means also, par contre, yeah. to become more conscious of one's responsibilities. Because the freer you are, that is where um, your sense of responsibility is challenged. Can you, can you explain that a little bit further? <clears throat> well, you see, uh, if one is completely under the boots of a teacher, one just leaves all one's responsibilities to the teacher to guide one as one, as, as one wishes to be guided, which in fact is, you call, uh, one calls that in Dutch, uh, slaphals. Um, spirit, the more, no, the freer one is, as far as not accepting to be imposed any dogmas or any uh, illogical uh, theories, the more one is conscious of one's responsibilities. Uh, first of all, um, as far as one's connection is with others, and as far as what one has to offer to others, which is a great responsibility. Uh, for instance, to avoid causing troubles to others and um, to avoid getting in trouble oneself uselessly. Because if one allows oneself to get in troubles, one is thereby helping the other to develop, uh, to develop that into an ego trip on their side. Don't know if you understand what I'm saying.